If I could just ask your indulgence, the Conflict of Interest Committee specifically asked us to have you address your relationship with the company in a little more detail than just on the slide for us um, in this particular presentation. So if you'd be willing to do that, that would be helpful. Thanks. Or beyond that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I have. Uh, I don't know uh, what rights for advisory. Oh. They, were, they weren't that, clear that, what rights are, for advisory committees these really are stock meant. Stock options. Okay. Stock options. Thank you. Um, good is a common problem, and proximal extent of reflux is an important factor in GERD symptomatology. PPIs are the mainstay for medical therapy. Fund duplication is the mainstay for surgical therapy. However, up to 50% of patients on PPI are not satisfied with therapy for the reasons mentioned below, which drives a search for alternative therapy. LES stimulation in one, is one of those alternative uh, therapies. The impetus for the study came from animal trials that show that electrical stimulation of the LES in canine and porcine models can raise LES pressure. We followed with an acute LES stimulation in GERD patient that served as a proof of concept uh, in humans that showed an increased LES pressure in all the patients that were stimulated. The pressure was sustained beyond the end of stimulation. And importantly, there was no effect on swallow-induced LES relaxation as confirmed by manometry and also no complaints of dysphagia. So these data serve as the basis for the current trial, open label, human pilot, long-term LES stimulation for GERD. These are the efficacy endpoint, primarily symptoms and physiological variable, EH, pressure, and so on, and safety endpoints, adverse effects, and their relation to implant procedure, device, or stimulation. These are some of the selected, selective inclusion criteria, a certain level of HRQL abnormality, and some improvement with PPIs, a range of pressure uh, of the lower esophageal sphincter, abnormal, LS expo uh, abnormal esophageal exposure, and anatomical variables, primarily hiatal hernia equal less than three centimeter, LA uh, equal grade C or lower than grade C, and short barret. At the illustration, demonstrate the position of the electrode Two electrodes are positioned in the muscular layer of the G junction of the, uh, uh, the esophagus and the G junction, and wires are brought up to um, a subcutaneous pocket where the IPG is implanted. To the left, you see the pulse parameters. So these are, uh, this is high frequency, low energy type stimulation delivered in 30 minute sessions intermittently and can be optimized based on symptoms and pH evaluation. 24 patients were implanted. See the demographics. All patients were on PPI for a mean of six months prior. All had erosive esophagitis. 19 patients out of these 24 had a dual sensor pH. The other had Bravo, so they could not be included. And seven of those 19 had abnormal proximal acid exposure. Now to results. Uh, see the baseline and one year. These are the seven patients with abnormal proximal acid exposure. exposure. Both I mean, total, upright, and supine all normalize in one year. You see the distal acid exposure. Now the total group in blue and the uh, seven patients in white. And there is a significant improvement at the end of one year. Symptoms, this is a HRQL. We could do it more frequently than pH, so we extend the data to 18 months. And there's, again, significant reduction at uh, 18 months and significantly improve compared to both on PPI and off PPI. This is heartburn, regurgitation, daily diary, nighttime, daytime, both the 19 patient and the seven, and it's nearly completely resolved. Use of PPI, again, near complete elimination of the need for PPI in these patients, both the seven patients and the total group. Esophagitis, all had esophagitis, for the most part, very minimal, 
LA grade A classification. Um, close to 25, uh, 25 resolved at 12 months in the total group and almost half in the seven patients. Uh, this is the safety and tolerability. At 18 months, there was only one serious adverse event that was neither device or procedure related. Almost all adverse effects were uh, a post-operative type uh, symptoms. Importantly, there were no stimulation related GI side effects or sensation and no dysphagia. So in conclusion, during the long-term 12 to 18 months trial, LES stimulation was safe and effective in eliminating proximal acid exposure in patients with GERD, significant and sustained improvement in symptoms, esophageal acid exposure, and LES pressure, near to complete elimination of PPI use. And further studies are currently in progress to assess the role of this uh, technique in the treatment of, as a treatment modality of GERD. Thank you. Questions for this paper? We probably have, we're a little behind, but we have time for a question or two. Dr. Soper. Yeah, Nat Soper, uh, Chicago Northwestern. Um, I, I have not, I've previously been involved in gastric pacing work as a research uh, pro pro process. So I'm a little unclear as to the exact uh, parameters of the stimulation. Is it a continuous stimulation? Is it something they just, they do X number of times a day or according to diary or, or explain how this works? Right, it, it's a 30 minute stimulation because every two hours, because we found in the acute study that the increase in pressure is sustained beyond the end of the stimulation. So we don't have to do it continuously. Now, when we started, we did it according to pH and symptoms, nighttime, daytime. We then moved to alternating every two hours, so 12 sessions uh, during the day. The parameters, as I mentioned, these are high, high frequency and low energy type, type stimulation. Yeah. Dr. Demeester. I'm uh, very much impressed on this uh, technology that uh, Dr. Stolfer has introduced here. And I've been following this work over the years, and we've talked about it on one occasion at least. I have just one question, and, and could you, do you have any effects of dysphagia or subtle dysphagia uh, uh, either after implantation or uh, putting the sutures into the, uh, the leads into the, right. or, or while the stimulation is on? None. This was one thing that we were very careful at assessment and assessing. And no patient had any new symptom dysphagia. Some had some dysphagia before, perhaps as part of GERD. No new symptoms. Importantly, there's no effect on LES relaxation uh, during stimulation. This, by the way, was found both in animal model and in humans. Dr. Sofer, thank you. Thank you.